back. Okay, today I got something pretty good. Um, actually, I got something really, really good. We got a Roku remote that stops working, and what do you do? <sighs> I know sometimes it sometimes gets frustrating, but I do have a Roku remote here. I do got the Roku connected, and everything works. Um, I am going to show you guys an alternative if it stops working and what do you do and, and you're, you know, you ordered a new one and you're just waiting for it to, to show up to your door. It might be a couple days. Um, with that being said, make sure before we begin, check the description below. I got a good VPN with a really good discount. Check the description below and you guys will be able to see it. Um, I've actually, uh, I, I'm doing a new one, a new VPN. I know I've, I've done one forever. I decided to do a new one, so hope you guys enjoy that one. Okay, so what am I talking about? Now, first, first, first off, you have to go, and I'm opening up my my Google Play. So first off is you got to download the Roku right there. So this is the Google Play Store. Um, you could do this on Apple. Just go download Roku and open it up. So once you do open it up, and you know what? Before we actually open it up, I'm going to come here to my other camera here so that way we could see exactly what we're doing. And hopefully this works pretty good for you guys. So first off is we're going to hit open. And the great thing is, is with the Roku app, it has tons of stuff here. Now, if I do have a device, I click on device. It says we didn't find a Roku device on your network. You got to be sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi. And now it just found it. I'm going to hit remote and devices and there it is so i'm going to click on this and it says media channels or remote if i go to remote there it is i i can now <laughs> like set up my stuff here um, if i hit that little gear icon it says swipe remote traditional um, private listening uh, switch roku device lost your remote so a lot of cool stuff here. I'm kind of curious. If you lost your remote, what is it that you do? So if you click on this, it says, okay, so it sends you over to Roku to, to get another one, to purchase another one. Um, so pretty nice. So this is your traditional. So let's come over to, we're going to come over here to the, the capture card. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys here that I still have the, rem that I still have the remote here. So I'm going to hit the home button here. And it's going to go ahead and, yeah, see, there you go. I'm going to hit down. And everything just works pretty nice. So that's very, very, very simple, very easy. Now, it does have this headphone jack. If you want to listen to your, um, whatever, you're, whatever you want to watch, you can put it on your headphones. So that way you're listening to it on your phone. Your recent channels here, these are all your channels that are built into your, your Roku, which is pretty nice. And, yeah, it's pretty 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 easy so let me know what you guys think i wanted to give you guys um just something really really simple to use i'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it and, and get out of it so um super simple yeah if, if you lose it that thing is great if you want some private listening just hook up the headphones and it'll play through your headphones on there let me know what you guys think i'm trying to show you guys some cool tips and tricks off of this thing so yeah, with all that being said, you guys take care, take care of each other. See you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.